guys, welcome back to Taliku. It's been a few days since the last episode. Um, <laughs> a few days, yeah. <laughs> as you can already hear, I'm joined by Ed for TV as always. Hey. And we have a special guest for this episode. That's Rubel Turians. Hey, dude. Hey, guys. How's it going? So Rubel Turians took over the park for some time and worked on it. And today he's going to show us what he's been working on on the park to give us back some motivation and inspiration. And then <laughs> we're going to continue the series to the end now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hope, I mean, hopefully it gives you guys some inspiration to keep going. So, <laughs> yeah. I think Ad, Adfo, you just said the last episode was like 11 months ago. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and in fairness, it, this probably would have happened sooner, but I I think I've had the park file for like three months, um, which is way too long. And you guys were gracious enough to give me all that time. But um, unfortunately, I didn't spend three months working on it. It just took me three months to do what I did. So. But I'm not sure what, uh, I think, Bear, you're kind of driving the camera on your end. Um, so I'm not sure what you're looking at. But if we're starting in the exit plaza, um, I didn't do a whole lot in this area um, for a couple reasons. One, I didn't. I didn't really, you know, I assumed you had existing inspiration for this and it's kind of hard to go in and fill that in without potentially messing something up. So, um, right. So one thing you'll notice is I did the little rounded dome over the exit to the gift shop. That looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. So, so, and we kind of talked about this before we started recording, but you know, there's only so many ways to do this style before it gets really tedious and repetitive. And mm. so I tried to sort of um, interject some stuff that was similar, but also a little bit different. And so I started looking for inspiration in like Morocco and other, you know, Northern African yeah. countries like that. So you start to get a little bit more like Arabian architecture influence in those areas. And so you'll start, you'll see mm -hmm. that in some of the design that I did. So you can kind of see that in like the, uh, the detail underneath the dome. I mean, in the dome itself for sure. And so I'm, Unfortunately, I did not get to mm -hmm. the interior of the shop. I'll leave that to you guys to finish. <laughs> oh, yeah. I get some ideas for that. That's fine. Yeah. Wait, you did a little bit of work in there. Yeah, I at least like I finished up the floors, I think. I don't remember if those weren't done. They, they might have been. Honestly, I like I can't even remember everything that I did because <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long. But I did put a roof on top with some ductwork. Um, and that is all like for the most part one piece so you can just click it and drag it off and do your work on the interior yeah. and, and put it back um but i at least wanted to look somewhat finished from from up above um and then if you swing around at the back i didn't really i didn't really do much in this area here i just plopped some of the new like uh movie props down and stuff from the the new dlc <laughs> And they're not even any in any specific area. So I tried to take cues because you guys had little signs around like on the backstage. There's one that says loading zone question mark. And so I tried to like take those cues and kind of run with it. Um, mm. And so for that reason, if you look uh, the building, that's like if you make your way around the circle from the gift shop and there's that building that's yeah. by the tower, the new tower that I made. So I made sort of a little observation tower. Oh, that tower is beautiful. Thanks. It is. Yes. Yeah. So that's where you really see like more of the sort of you know moroccan type architecture influence yeah mm -hmm. and then i didn't touch the building to the left of that because i think bear you had a sign saying you had an idea for that so yeah i didn't i didn't want to uh to touch that and then the other obvious thing in this area is the eating area oh. i tried to do like a tile mosaic uh which is very like the mosaic fountains are very prevalent in morocco um and so i wanted those to be like a focal point for this little dining area wait what what is that mosaic that's a candy piece, right? Yeah, oh. it's the flat edge of the little candy pieces. So oh, that's, that's genius. Smart. Yeah, <laughs> that looks so beautiful. Thanks. Really gives the whole area some color, like also the dome you made. I really like that. Mm. Yeah, I mean, like the, the stuff you guys had already is is fantastic. And, you know, it's really accurate, but I just wanted to, like I said, even I was having trouble finding more reference stuff to, to like <laughs> yeah. add to yeah. the area. And so that's why I kind of went outside of what you had already done. But perfect. Yeah. So that's the bulk of, of what I did in this area. Um, you know, I didn't really, I kind of ran out of inspiration. And so I ended up, if you go outside, uh, that area towards the entryway and back 
towards the lift hill, you'll see where I spent oh, the bulk of my time. Holy f- that <laughs> is stunning. <laughs> awesome. Oh, um, all right. All right. I'm so glad you like it. I was so nervous. <laughs> so, uh, so this was inspired by a hotel in Morocco, which at one point in time was a Casbah, which is like a sort of like a fort type palace thing. And yeah, so I, I, I ripped off a lot of it directly from that structure, but I loved the color. The thing that drew me to it was it had a, this green roof, which I thought was really nice with the coaster itself. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then yeah. just the style of architecture as well. That looks amazing. Thanks. So the uh, the entrance into the area gets a little bit bottlenecked when there's actually peeps, but I don't know. I think it looks good the way it is, so I didn't change it. I love that. Oh, yeah, um, that's fine. Yeah. And then... I think when we were sort of talking, you guys had mentioned that this area might be like a restaurant with like an overlook area or something. So that's what I kind of ran with. Um, and if you go into the uh, entryway and into the first building, uh, this area is supposed to be like a bar mm-hmm. um, with a nice patio. And the thing that I'm probably most proud of are the uh, the animal mounts on the wall. <laughs> yeah, they look yeah. amazing. Uh, and full disclosure, it, I, you know, I, I don't know if you guys wanted to use anything from the workshop or not. Um, so feel free to delete them if you didn't. But I didn't have the time or patience to create chairs. So these are from the workshop. Uh, these are made by Tommy T. Damn. Um, wow. He's got a huge set. So you, if you want to replace them with s- s- your own stuff, I will not be offended at all. But I wanted to at least get the the vibe done. And then the stuff on the outside I pulled from No Name Landia. I think Ryan uh, made those chairs and tables with the parasol and the uh, the wrought iron chairs, yeah. Oh yeah, the workshop items are totally cool. Uh, I'm gonna leave links for all that stuff in the description if anyone is interested in that, so. Yeah, and then the bar, I, I intended to do like more with the bar than is there, but I just, I ran out of time and um, other things distracted me. The, the the mounts on the wall ended up taking way longer than I wanted to, and yeah, but they I, look amazing. I'm happy I spent the time on them because I think they make a huge difference in this building. Yeah, they really add mm-hmm. to it. So, um, and and if you look on the ones the side opposite of the bar, I put in sort of a little elevator because um, I was th- yeah I was checking this out. Yeah, so I was thinking <laughs> of how this would function properly, and you know theoretically, if they were to build something like this, you could have underneath the plaza there could be you know technically a structure under there so Mm. you could have you know like kitchens and stuff below the plaza and even to the building off to the right you know that's Mm. sort of what i viewed as being a kitchen area as well Mm. so they could you know theoretically you'd have pathways underneath that could run to an elevator there and they could bring food and drinks up but mainly it's just a bar anyway and then Mm. Yeah, down, if you go down the stairs to this plaza area, I just wanted it to be a really nice seating area with a great view of the lake. Uh, and then in terms of the structure itself, it's, I didn't plan on doing an interior for that. So I don't, I don't know how one of you is going to have to kind of clean that up. I'm sorry it didn't get completely finished, but I tucked in a chief beef and a restroom in there. So the peeps actually come down here. And then in terms of making the backstage actually function, that's another puzzle I'll leave for you guys to put together. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun. So, <laughs> cause that, that was a struggle. Cause I mean, if they're, you know, you, you would need backstage access, but this is the way you guys have done everything. It's very much like master planned. And so they would, pay a lot of attention to, you know, sight lines and not having the backstage be visible or at least the access to the backstage be visible. So, um, so I'll let you figure that out. But <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I got an idea for that already. That's perfectly fine. Okay, good, good. Because I my initial thought was like <clears throat> maybe going the other way. But then when I looked, there's just no way I could have gone like underneath all of that to the other backstage. So. Right, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's perfect like this. Man, I love this. Like, I don't know what to say else. I'm just done. <laughs> yeah. This I'm, is amazing. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. I was like super nervous putting this together. So. It's always hard when you're in someone else's park because, you know, you you think theoretically they have a vision for for everything and you don't want to oh, mm, yeah. like screw mm-hmm. that up at all. So I'm glad you guys uh, approve and enjoy it. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, definitely. Good. Yeah. So like I said, it has, you know, it's got a little bit of a different style from the Exit Plaza, but I still think it fits in generally with the theme, with the overall theme. So 
Oh yeah, totally. Oh yeah, the idea from the start on was that the whole queue is essentially a, a journey in itself. So you start in a certain style of African architecture. When you enter the queue and progress through different styles, it's almost like little sub areas. So so I think you did a really good job at getting in the entrance area that tucks in with the whole concept perfectly. Awesome. And then the thing, the other thing that I so I left lots of puzzles for you to to figure out because the other <laughs> the other thing I didn't I didn't know how to rework or fix uh, or make fit into this design was where you actually the first part of the queue. Oh yeah, yeah. And that's another thing that I figured maybe you already had an idea of what you wanted to do, or you just the reason it stopped and is not finished is because you didn't know what to do. <laughs> so. <laughs> Right, we procrastinated on that part a lot already, but Yobel is giving me some ideas already now, so mm. I guess you guys gotta find out what happens with that part in the future episode. Good. Yeah, it needs a sign. Yes, yeah. If the- Who's good at signs? Mass oh, Bandit is really good Bandit, at signs. Mass Bandit, right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I was gonna, I you know, feel free to name it whatever you want, the restaurant, the bar, everything. Feel, you know, signs are not my strong suit, and honestly, I, I just didn't have time. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> I really love the roofs, the green roofs. Yeah, that you use the brackets, right? Yeah, the wooden, the wooden brackets. Yeah. So, and I, and I lined them up you know perfectly because i wanted them to look like terracotta oh yeah like, right you know those types of things so i'm pretty sure that's what they are from the inspiration uh building and so they like li- they line up perfectly like they lay on top of one another and then i i went in and i changed the colors to give it some mm-hmm. variety and then i tweaked some of them and made them kind of look like they're aged a little bit as well i never thought of using them upside down exactly yeah it looks so good yeah i love that Good. Well, I'm I'm glad you guys like it. Like I said, I was I was nervous showing it off. So, um, but yeah, it's amazing, amazing park. And I didn't know too whether or not like, I mean, based on the stuff you had already done in like the landscaping and the rock work, which is ridiculous, by the way. <laughs> um, I I assume it's supposed to be just a pretty arid climate, mm-hmm. and so I didn't do a ton of like trees and i tried to keep the same plants and stuff that you had used earlier in the area so i didn't do much variety in terms of that but then on the obviously on the interior here like if this would have been like a palace or something they probably would have had more greenery and yeah. like flowers and stuff so the planters right in front of the bar i took a little bit of leeway there and made them a little bit nicer so yeah i love that yeah, it looks amazing and i think it's just enough green it's not overwhelming, so it doesn't look jungle-ish. Yeah. yeah, just enough, yeah. So Cool. Well, I, ho- I hope this inspires you guys to get back into it. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one that wants to see what else you guys do with this, so... I feel like people have been bugging you about it oh, for yeah, about yeah. 11 months, so... <laughs> well, it definitely gives me some inspiration right off the bat, yeah, so... I gotta say a big thank you to you, Rubel. Um, yeah, thanks, man. This work is amazing. It's a lot of inspiration. And I hope we can finally pick it up again and get some work done. Yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah, you guys gotta thank Rubel in the comments also. Like this, <laughs> yeah. this work is amazing. And check out his YouTube channel, of course. Exactly. Because um, it's amazing what he's doing. Not only for our pack. Yeah, it's all linked in the description, and I also linked the workshop items there. So. Awesome. Well, thanks for having me uh, having me on, guys. It was awesome. Thank yeah, thanks for, for being work. here. And yeah, as Bear said, the work. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, the other thing too about for you guys to get back into it is with all the new pieces and stuff. I mean, like mm. there's a lot, there's a ton of stuff in the adventure pack in particular that you could probably put to good use here. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. Especially plants and things too. Like if you wanted to add some more variety in plants, like you could sink, you know, trees into the ground and bushes into the ground and stuff like that so oh true yeah and the new palm trees fit so much yeah, better exactly. than the old yeah. ones so yeah thanks Rubel for for being guest on this episode and uh building well pass on this park with these amazing additions and um for you guys out there um we're trying to get back to the park 
we won't name a schedule because <laughs> hey you know us we can't keep it anyway <laughs> so uh, <laughs> the only thing uh, I can say is that the next episode will be on my channel so check it out and um, hope to see you guys there and yeah bye bye see you guys